Watch you guys got another video here for you on good reasons why to switch your DNS server. Now there's quite a good reason for you to want to switch your DNS server if you've got really slow web browsing experience and that's normally due to a really rubbish uh, DNS server from your ISP. But not all DNS servers are equal. Some uh, DNS servers are much more secure and much more better at protecting you against malware and uh, adult content and stuff like that if you set them up correctly. So what basically happens is DNS servers translate uh, the human friendly domain names that we see like google.com into a machine friendly IP address. So when I type here ping space google.com you'll see it will send out a request and it will trans, uh, translate that google.com into an IP address. This IP address you can see right here. And when you do a search on uh, your browser for this IP address, it will show you google.com because that's what it is. And that's basically uh, what your DNS servers are doing. So when you choose your ISP, which is your internet service provider, they normally uh, allocate your DNS servers for you and they have their own, but not all of these DNS servers are good. So you need to check to find out which ones are good and which ones are bad. To know what DNS server you're running, you can type in this command ipconfig space forward slash all, and this will give you all the information of your uh, network card here. You can see here we've got Realtek Gaming network card, we've got DHCP enabled, and it also gives you your DNS servers listed here. Now you can run a software like DNS Benchmark and Name Server Benchmark, which will basically uh, run a full scan on your system using uh, the known DNS servers, which you can see there's tons of them uh, that you can use. And uh, opening this up and running this software will basically tell you which is the best DNS server for you to use. Unfortunately, uh, this shows a lot of United States and other versions of DNS servers which you can use. Now, of course, if you're on this side of the pond, which is in the UK, using a DNS server which is far away from you can actually hinder your performance. So you can see my two uh, DNS servers here. You get two DNS servers. You'll get your primary and your secondary DNS server. Sometimes you have a third uh, DNS server. You can see them listed up the top here, 194.168.4.100 and 194.168.8.100. You can right click on here and do a bunch of other stuff inside here. I'm just gonna run the benchmark here and show you. Now you can see on the right hand side here, there's a lot of US ones here. So I'll leave this benchmark running. It does take quite a bit of time. And now also it does want you to consider creating a custom name server list for yourself. And this does take a long time as well because there's over 4,000 849 uh, global DNS resolvers here. So we need to basically scan all of those and it will tell you exactly which one's the fastest for you. Now, some ISPs have really bad DNS servers, which can really make your internet seem really slow and sluggish. So basically by changing to a third party uh, DNS server can actually make your internet f seem faster. You will definitely get faster internet browsing and uh, you possibly see some speed improvements. Now there is quite a few DNS servers to choose from, and I'll try and leave some of this information in the video description, but it's not rocket science. There's quite a few out there uh, to choose from. Uh, Cloudflare is one of them. And what they do is they also add a lot of phishing protection, uh, parent control, and also better security and protection. You can see here, this one is just for malware blocking. You can block malware using this, and you can also use these DNS servers to block malware and adult content as well. If you want to try and protect younger children in your household that you want to stop them from seeing that type of content, you can change the DNS to some of these more stricter ones and stop them from ever seeing that. Now, the best way to do this is in your router or router, depending on where you come from, and you can change these DNSs just like this, as you see in your router here. And this is basically going to make it a lot more better for you rather than going into Windows. But if you don't have that option in your router, like you do with Virgin Media, you can go into the settings pane here, into network, and basically change the adapter options inside here 
choose your Ethernet adapter or your Wi-Fi, click on this, and this will open up the Ethernet status box. From there, you can go to the Ethernet properties, and then you can go to Internet Protocol version uh, 4, and all you need to do here is just go down to the bottom where it says obtain DNS server address automatically. That means it's going to pull your ISP's DNS by using the following DNS server addresses, you can put in your own DNS servers in here for the ones that you choose. And there's quite a lot to choose from, but we're just going to try the uh, the one from Cloudflare there just to show you exactly what it actually does. Now you can use quite a few different ones with Cloudflare. They've got one with 1111, and they've also got 1112, and they've also got 1113 which is the adult and malware. So it depends on what you want to set yours up to. So we'll try the adult and malware type one here, and I'll show you exactly how that works. Now you can look here, it back in here where we do IP config forward slash all, you can see that's changed my DNS server now. Let's take a look and see how it blocks it. You can see here when you go to one of those known sites, it actually blocks that site very easily. And if you want to protect younger people, on the internet, that is the way you can do it. Now, not all DNS servers will block uh, malware and adult content. Some of them just go for speed. And again, you need to check and benchmark those first before you start disabling your DNS server from your ISP because your ISP one may outperform anyone that you're using that you find on the internet. So always do your research first. It depends on what you're trying to do, whether you want faster internet browsing, Check which one's faster for you, whether you want phishing protection or parent control or better security and malware protection. You can use certain types of DNS servers to suit your needs. Just do your research and don't assume that another DNS is going to be better than your ISP's one. Anyway, I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I do really appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.